Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have a very, very exciting figure to take a look at today because we have a brand new 2022 Safari LTD release here. This is the brand new Nano Tyrannus from Safari LTD. I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Safari LTD for sending this figure over early for me to check out. Very kind of them to do that, giving me the opportunity to have a look at this figure before anyone else, which is really, really exciting. And uh, again, just in general, to have the opportunity to get a review up of this so quickly. And I will say as a whole, this figure looks fantastic. The sculpt is very nicely done, as you always get when it comes to Safari LTD. But I feel like the sculpt somehow it looks even better than their usual figures do which is super awesome if you ask me the paint job as well is nothing overly detailed or crazy but it looks nice it's you know one of those instances where it doesn't need to be overly creative or anything like that sometimes simple it works you know best and that's pretty much what we see here all we basically have are some really nice brown tones very nice realistic looking tones and then some striping along the back with kind of like a whitish tone and what i like about this is because you know Nano Tyrannus is a pretty controversial dinosaur. Like, there's always that talk of whether or not Nano Tyrannus is an actual species or if this is just a juvenile T Rex. Who really knows? But what I think, you know, is cool about this paint job for the figure is if it's a Nano Tyrannus, if Nano Tyrannus is a real species, it works nicely for an adult species. But at the same time, if it's a juvenile Tyrannosaurus, and at some point, you know, we discover that and we actually have concrete evidence to support that, then I feel like the paint job as well looks like a nice transitional paint job between like, you know, a younger dinosaur heading into uh, an adult dinosaur. I feel like it looks like a pretty good paint job that would kind of give you that look. So Safari LTD, I feel like on top of giving us a fantastic sculpt, did a great job kind of choosing the paint scheme for this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Nano Tyrannus, you can instantly take note to how beautiful the scale detail is on the head sculpt of this figure. Like it is incredibly vibrant, really nice scale detail of my camera focus, but really nice scale detail there in the face of the Nano Tyrannus. And you can see as we transition to the snout, we have a much larger kind of thicker scaling out there on the snout of the dinosaur you can also see the nostrils are sculpted out and highlighted nicely with a darker tone of color you also kind of have like clusters of larger scales here on the top of the snout almost like osteoderm like scales up there the dinosaur is sculpted with its mouth in an open position you can see each and every tooth is sculpted very nicely in there and also painted very nicely no sloppiness at all as far as the paintwork goes. You can also see the tongue on the inside of the mouth has a very nice sculpt to it, very nice texturing, as well as a beautiful, very dark, kind of a maroonish color. I love the alternate coloration there for the tongue. Really nice choice in the part of Safari LTD, and they've also given it a very nice gloss coat, which helps to give it a really realistic and saliva-like look. You can also see here, as far as the open mouth goes, we have kind of like a pinkish tone for the skin flap here on the side of the mouth, which also looks very nice. You can see some nice detailing in that area as well. And then as you lead down here into the lower jaw, you can see again some more fantastic scale detail on the lower jaw. And I love the variations of brown that we have for the face. We start with this fairly dark, well, I mean, it's not really all that dark, but we have this nice tone of brown and it transitions really naturally and smoothly to a lighter tone out there on the snout of the dinosaur, also down here on the lower jaw. So really nice, you know, again, paintwork for the figure that's not overly dramatic, overly flashy or complicated, just nice, simple, and it works perfect. You also have a very nicely painted eye. We've got a nice black pupil right there as well as a gloss coat on the eye so the eye shines like real eyes would. You can also see again right there on this side, very, very nice looking. As you lead back here into the neck of the dinosaur, you can see the ear is sculpted out there. You can also take note of the fact that again the scale detail looks great on the dinosaur. As you lead down the neck you start to see kind of like some creasing and you also see with the same coloration that we have as far as the stripes go kind of like some speckles here showing up on the back of the neck which you know looks pretty cool. You can also kind of take note to some like tensing in the neck of the dinosaur 
a few skin wrinkles down here in the throat, the skin of the underside of the throat of the Nano Tyrannus. Moving down here into the body, you start to see again not only some fantastic scale detail, but also some beautiful osteoderms picking up here and there. And they kind of begin to like litter the dinosaur almost everywhere. You can see them really abundant through the course of the figure. They kind of mix with all of the really nice scale detail. And I think that looks very nice. As you move down into the arm of the dinosaur, that as well looks nice. And it has a similar paint scheme to what we see on the head, where it starts with this nice darker brown, transitions to a light brown out onto the hand. You also have the nails painted very nicely with a black. You can kind of see like some scoots down the fingers, as well as some wrinkling there in the joint of the elbow. So the detailing of the hand looks great as well. Leading back into the stomach region, you can kind of see some skin wrinkles and folding and everything going on right there with the leg pushing into the stomach, kind of bunching that skin up. You can also see a little bit of girth in the stomach region of our Nano Tyrannus, making sure it looks nice and healthy. The stripes, again, begin right here in the shoulder area, and they continue to run down the course of the body. They're applied like a wash, almost, so they kind of creep in between the scales. I like how nice the actual stripes have been applied when it comes to the paintwork. You can see we have a very nice, big and muscular looking thigh, but the thigh isn't overly defined, so it doesn't make it look shrink-wrapped or anything like that. I really like that aspect of the model. You can see more, again, fantastic scale detail, but also more osteoderms leading down through the course of the body. You also have a very nice looking calf muscle, yet again, not overly defined, but looks great. And then leading down into the foot, you can see the scale detail gets even more, you know, fine the further down into the body you get. And then you lead down here, nice scoots running down the shin as well as down into the foot of our dinosaur out onto the toes. The scoots look great, and the foot as a whole is very bird-like, fantastic looking. You also have some nicely painted nails with a very dark gray right there. Very precise paintwork as far as those go. And you can also see over here we've got the dew claw also painted. And then as we lead up here, you can see more kind of skin stretching and wrinkling there as that leg is pulling forward, stretching that skin nicely off of the tail, and then leading out the length of the tail again. The scale detail continues to look pretty much the same as far as what it looks like through the course of the body, but you can see it kind of gets finer the further out into the tail we get. It definitely decreases in size, which you would expect to see as we lead out into the tail. You can see the stripes also kind of decrease in size as they get you know, fairly small the further out into the tail you get. You also have a beautiful, very natural curve to the tail, nothing overly dramatic or anything going on as far as that goes just a really nice walking pose for the dinosaur looking over here at the head sculpt again you can see it looks pretty much the same as what we had just seen on the initial side really beautiful paintwork again with that nice transition to the lighter brown and i like that the lighter brown kind of uh like you can see it creeping through some of those larger scales it's really neat the way that they've applied the paintwork there. And then leading back here into the neck, you can see more of those speckles. You can pick out the ear. You don't see any kind of like a crazy dramatic difference in the sculpt over here any more so than what we saw on the initial side because the head does have a slight left turn to it, but it's not, you know, significant enough that it would cause any kind of major stretching of the skin or anything over here compared to what we saw on the first side. And then as you lead down here into the body, yet again, you can see the arms are in a similar position, but this arm is held a little bit more more out than what we see on the opposing arm. You can see again though that it's very nice and consistent as far as the paint work and sculpt work goes to what we saw on the initial side leading back here into the body. Again you can see that nice mixture of the scales and osteoderms running all over the Nano Tyrannus. More of those kind of skin wrinkles and skin folding going on right there. This time though you can pick up on the hip bone right there and the very nice again very thick thigh but this time you can see the leg is trailing over here whereas the leg is leading on the initial side because the dinosaurs clearly just walking along very nice and leisurely as you move down the course of the leg you can see how the scales decrease in size before transitioning down here on the toes to a scoot like appearance you also have the nicely again sculpted and painted nails right there and then you lead back up here into the tail and lead out the length of the tail again pretty much the same style of sculpt that we saw on the initial side because the curve in the tail is just slight it's not anything super crazy or dramatic but an absolutely awesome nano tyrannus and a fantastic species on the part of safari ltd to create for the 2022 line so psyched to see this figure getting a release from safari ltd and really happy to see that
that it's as beautiful as this one is. And something that I think I might have failed to mention when we were taking that closer look is that we have a nice light tone of color for the underside as well. Slightly different tone of color compared to what we see on the lower jaw and right here in the snout. It looks like it might be just a slight maybe a shade or two darker of a tone of color, but there is that nice light tone here for the underside as well as the undersides of the feet. But the figure on top of that stands beautifully, very nice balance. You can see everything proportion-wise looks great. We also have, as far as a size goes, a length of about eight inches or 20 centimeters. And then for a height to the back of the head there, just shy of two and three quarter inches or around the seven centimeter mark. For a size comparison, there is the Safari LTD Dino Dana Adult Tyrannosaurus, and it's nice to see these two together again, especially if we are going to look at Nino Tyrannus as a potential juvenile Tyrannosaurus. It's cool to see the two figures together and see how they look, and uh, definitely a really neat comparison as far as these figures go. They look like they honestly scale very nicely together and could create a really cool diorama. But for another size comparison, there is another 2022 Safari LTD release as we have the Patiga Titan next to our Nano Tyrannus. And quite clearly, you can see a pretty big size difference between these two figures. Although, again, they're not to scale with each other exactly, as you can clearly see because Patagon Titan is a massive dinosaur and Nano Tyrannus, although, you know, pretty sizable, wouldn't be quite that large. It would not be anywhere near that size. But again, two fantastic 2022 releases from Safari LTD right here. And then for another size comparison, here is that classic Safari LTD Velociraptor next to the Nano Tyrannus. Not the best shape this Raptor is in currently. This is one that I actually have for a repaint, but it's a pretty classic figure, I would say, from Safari LTD. Like, it's one that many people have in their collection, so I felt like it would be a good one for a comparison. And then we had to flip sides here, but now we have the Cryolovasaurus as well from Safari LTD next to the Nano Tyrannus. Another very popular release from Safari LTD and another one that I felt like would be a pretty good stand in here for a comparison. And then for one final size comparison, there is the Dino Kyrus from Safari LTD next to the Nano Tyrannus as well. Again, helping to give you an idea. I'm not too sure what all species people would like to see compared to this one because I don't think they've ever released a Nano Tyrannus prior. And if they do, I'm not familiar with it. So maybe there's a chance. But this is a figure that, again, I felt like is a really popular one because of how beautiful it is overall. So I felt like it was also a really good figure to bring out for a comparison that might help anybody out when it comes to figuring out the size of the figure. Again, it's a fairly small figure overall, but not all that small. So this 2022 Safari LTD Nano Tyrannus is another fantastic release from them and one that I'm really happy to have the pleasure of reviewing early for you guys to show off how gorgeous of a sculpt and paint job we have on this figure. I really think they did a great job on the fine detail. Overall, the scale detail is incredibly vibrant throughout the entire figure. A lot of really nice varying sizes of scales, as well as a beautiful osteoderm-like look to the majority of the figure, but you also have a very nice casual walking pose for the figure. I think that the pose and the overall feel of the appearance of the figure is also really quite nice because it doesn't look like he's, you know battling it out with some other dinosaur or chasing something down. It looks like he's just kind of casually walking around and uh, maybe letting out some sort of a vocalization to another nearby dinosaur. I'm not too sure, but I do like the nice calm nature of the pose and the appearance to the figure. The paint job as well, again, is one of those instances where less is more sometimes because you have a really basic paint job overall as we just basically have some nice different variations of browns and then a nice striping running down the back but it works perfectly for the figure. It works perfectly again as an adult Nano Tyrannus, if indeed again it is a real species, or as a juvenile Tyrannosaurus, it also works perfect for that. So they did do a very good job of giving us a nice naturalistic paint scheme and a beautiful paint application as all of it is very nice and naturally applied that works perfectly again 
for both a juvenile Rex or an adult Nano Tyrannus. Another thing that's really cool about this figure is it will actually come with the QR code to be added into the Dino Dana app as this figure is going to coincide with that app so you'll be able to access this dinosaur on the Dino Dana app when it does release. So as a whole, I'm really loving this figure and I am beyond excited to check out everything else that Safari LTD is going to be releasing for their 2022 year. And what's really exciting is that the discount code has now returned. So if you are interested in picking up any Safari LTD figures that you may have been eyeing up recently, make sure you check out their website. Again, I will include a link in the description to their store and use the code Andy at checkout to get yourself 15% off of any purchase on the Safari LTD website that you would like to add to your collection. So make sure you order this absolutely beautiful Nano Tyrannus and make sure you also use the code Andy at checkout to get yourself 15% off and like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.